hope you're doing good it's your boy man came and kill it and today guys i'm joined by a person all the way from ghana i'm gonna be asking him some few questions so stay tuned hi guys uh, I was going to say you're welcome to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Hi guys, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Badas from Ghana. Uh, yes, this you say not, it again. This is not my channel. This is, <laughs> this man came and kill it. Man came and kill it channel. My name is Kofi. I'm coming to you live from Mombasa, and I'm from Ghana. Mm -hmm. So you can check my channel out, Badas from Ghana. Yeah? yeah, guys, you can go and check out the channel below the description box. So, is it your first time in Kenya? Uh, actually, this is my second time. Uh huh. Yeah, but it was like it was very close okay the first one was just some um, one month ago and mm -hmm. then i'm here again so what shocked you when you came to kenya first ah kenya is beautiful it shocked me i okay. i wasn't expecting mm -hmm. i don't want to say i wasn't expecting but you know back home this is to my this is due to my own ignorance right maybe i wasn't really looking at kenya mm -hmm. from that kind of yeah so yeah i i, I entered and i'm like what kenya, kenya is beautiful yeah, kenya is beautiful like, so, uh, is, is Kenya your first country apart from uh, in Africa to visit? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I've, I've done Ethiopia a okay. couple of times, like like three, I think three or four times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. and then I've done Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, but not for content. Yeah. That's, that's like, Cote d'Ivoire is just around Ghana. So, Cote d'Ivoire, okay. Ivory Coast, and then Togo, they are okay. just around us. So, yeah. So, Karibu Kenya, Maze. Karibu Kenya. Welcome to Kenya. Welcome to Kenya. Yes, yeah, I welcome to Kenya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, today, where are we in right now? So today we are around uh, Mombasa. Mombasa. We are in Nyali. Nyali. Yeah. And then we went to the beach. Yeah. Nyali Beach. Yes. We are coming from the beach, guys. By yeah. the way. So, uh, what's the major difference that you, you have seen uh, between uh, Nairobi and Mombasa? Nairobi is cold. Mm -hmm. Like be super cold. Apart from the and coldness, Mombasa is warm. Mm -hmm. But I think um, the biggest difference is the people in Mombasa are chilled. You guys are chilled. Like you guys are chilled. I think Nairobi is cold. Those people are supposed to be chilled, but they are rather there is pressure. They're moving like, every now and then. Yeah, huh? yeah. So, but Nairobi, uh, Mombasa is a bit chilled. Mm -hmm. It's free. Like working in the CBD, I felt like nah, this place is so calm. Like. There is no pressure. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe these are mostly for tourist people, especially yeah. uh, people around Kenya. They usually come to the coast to relax. Yeah. Um. Did you see that uh, Mombasa is, is also? Uh, um, okay. Did you see that Mombasa people are very friendly? Oh. Are very easy to talk to. Obviously. Easily to approach. <laughs> uh, you know. Compared to Nairobi. Yes. So I I don't want to do this comparison, but let me do this. Uh, let me do sure? this for you. Yeah. Yeah. So back in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. You're working in the CBD and it looks like everybody is stressed. Because everybody is like in a rush, pressure, like people yeah. are more. But here in Mombasa, it's like the direct contrast, like yeah. direct opposite. People Just are so opinion. calm. And then now in Nairobi, I find it difficult to approach people because I feel everybody is busy, busy, busy. Yeah. But here, people are calm and then I'm finding it difficult to approach people because I feel well, because people are too calm. <laughs> like, yeah. This person is like. No, 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 yeah, so, okay. so that's, that's the difference, I think people here are a bit relaxed, mm -hmm. you can approach people, that's but, true. yeah. Uh, how long have you been in, in Kenya, totally with the Mombasa? Uh, I can say I've been here for five weeks. So it means, it means you have been eating our Kenyan food, right? So I just wanted to ask you, what, what yeah. kind of food have you eaten, the Kenyan food? The uh, Kenyan food, I've mm -hmm. done pilau, I've mm -hmm. done chapati. Uh -huh. I I have tasted a couple of them, but I am somebody who doesn't really eat different variety of foods. Okay. Yeah, I'm a bit about so, food. So, so in, in all, all those food you have tested, which which uh, of them is the most suitable or what? which one is your favorite? I'll go for pilau because pilau, back, back home um, I eat jollof. Jollof is my favorite yeah. back home in Ghana, so but <coughs> pilau is like closer, a bit closer to jollof. Yeah. But the pilau have you eaten also in Nairobi or just in Mombasa? No, I had pilau in Nairobi, Nairobi. and then I've had one in Mombasa. And which one is it? Mombasa <laughs> one. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. But they also have you learned any Swahili word? I know. Uh, Karibu is Swahili, right? Yeah. yeah. Welcome. I know. Welcome. I know. Sasa. Uh -huh. Kua. Asante, I know the greeting. 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 I know the gree
What does it mean? Say hi in your language, in Ghana, in Ghana ah. language. Hi. Hi is Did you say hi? Yeah. There, there's no like Swahili of Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> we speak Chi, you know, just like you people have, you know, Kiswahili is like yeah. popular, almost everybody speaks, even if the person has a different tribe. Language, yeah. Yeah. But um, in Ghana, the dominant one is Chi. I okay. Can't. But that one is not spoken even all over Ghana. We have different different ones so um the most common language you can speak everywhere is english yeah okay yeah so uh, i wanted to ask you uh, you've been in mombasa for almost a month and uh, yeah has anything bad happened to you here in kenya no oh, wow no. that's beautiful <laughs> nothing bad happened to me uh no no nothing wasn't it wasn't bad i can't say it's bad ah. uh, what is it i think i i one day i was very hungry i placed an order online and then the food didn't get to me oh. i'm still yet to figure out what happened but that's bad man. I didn't get the food. you're playing with food uh, <laughs> food, food is usually important you know, i got a notification on my phone mm -hmm. your order has been delivered I'm, like, mm -hmm. oh. I'm, I'm just looking around my my room i'm like where has the order been delivered to i don't have the food back yeah. but I, it's one of those things i think mm -hmm. i later got um called and then there was some kind of misunderstanding somewhere so i was compensated along the line so, yeah. okay so you have been in Kenya for a very, very long time, man. So, what, what, what is the major difference between these two countries, Ghana and, your, and, and Kenya? Major difference? Yeah. Um, in type of food, the people, or you can talk about the weather. I think the weather is one major difference. Mm -hmm. The weather is like. Is yes, it cold? The first one. Yeah. Ghana is not that cold like Nairobi. Okay. Yeah, our capital is not that cold like Nairobi is cold. Mm -hmm. And then um, with the people, uh africa we are almost the same yeah. almost we are almost the same with the exception of the language yeah, yeah, yeah true. so yeah with the people i think individual differences are everywhere so i can't say we have differences okay yeah and then infrastructure wise Kenya is a bit up there oh wow well, thank there. you <laughs> that that's the fact you don't have to hide it behind yeah, yeah, yeah true, true, true. can you advise any any person watching this video who is not a kenyan to visit kenya of course, Kenya should be on your list. Trust me, you're watching this video and you've never been to East Africa at large. Yeah. I, I, we are all encouraging the fact that we should be moving around ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, Africa should be one. We are yeah, just true. being um, separated with some lines, which shouldn't actually stop us from exploring each other. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're watching this and you want to, feel free. Yes, we are one people. Yeah. There are no differences, and then you would always feel at home. We're all you go brothers. To yeah. Wherever you go to, you are going to feel at home. Okay. So Kenya should definitely be on your list. I can recommend Kenya for you if you want to go have some fun vacation. Instead of you going out there, just yeah. come to any part of Kenya. You're going to trust me. Mombasa is a spot for yeah. That, all the, that, that like, was my second Mombasa, question. Mombasa, Mombasa is a spot yeah. for all the Should fun. Should talk you about want to, Mombasa. By all the fun you want to have in this world. Mombasa is a spot. Just come to Mombasa. Okay. For your summer holidays, you don't have to travel outside of Kenya. Yeah, guys. You know, I wanted to tell you, people when they're coming to Kenya, they usually just stay in Nairobi yeah. and go to the wild, uh, wild, wild to see wild animals. But they don't know about Mombasa. You, no. you guys, man, Mombasa. Mombasa is beautiful. You are missing out if you are not coming to Mombasa. Make you sure you go and check his out. videos out. So of course, see. Mombasa videos are coming out on our channel. You just yeah. check it out. And look. He was featured in, so you guys should come and watch your guy. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, cool, man. So, we're coming to the end of the video. Do you have anything you want to tell them? Uh, I want to appreciate you oh, okay. for the nice hosting. You hosted me here in Mombasa. You're welcome. You really made it easy for me to move around. It was just it was just a text and then this guy responded. He showed up. We are here. Here we are. We've been doing everything together since I've been here. So, I just want to appreciate you in front of the people and yeah. say a big thank you. I'm waiting for you to visit Ghana so that I can actually that's a nice must for you yeah that's <laughs> a must yeah. guys so guys man thank you so much for watching it's a very very short video and we want to apologize about the noise we are the road right now uh i think you can see and i decided to do this video here and thank you so much if you reach to you managed to reach till this end don't forget to give it a thumbs up make sure you comment and don't forget to go and check out my brother here Thank you so much guys and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye for Harry.